Amy, Dennis, the two of you play uh, brother and sister in this uh, with a strange relationship, uh, I guess. Love is love. Love is love is love. <laughs> okay. Uh, can you talk about developing that and what it, what, what it was like doing some of those scenes? Well, originally, I think the two characters were married the way they wrote them. But they thought it'd be more interesting if we were brother and sister but they forgot to take out a couple of parts <laughs> in the script about it. And so um, it, it wound up the way it wound up, which is a little odd, I will say. Um, you know, it uh, makes for an interesting relationship. Well, it, it, build, it gives every scene between the two of you a, a tension. And yeah. extreme tension for the audience. Yeah. Like, oh, when are they going to, are they going to, they're not going to Yeah, kiss, but you can't they? stop watching yeah. at the same time, you know. What is it like playing a scene where you are in many ways seducing the, your, your scene partner because there's something that you want from them, but at the same time it is uh, a taboo? <laughs> It uh, feels like being a woman in the like, today's so. culture. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, Amy. Feels like being a woman in today's culture. Like we just have to <laughs> seduce for what we want. Uh, what does it feel like? Uh, it feels great. Um, I don't know. I just, I just, I just thought she. I think she's Diana's incredible, incredible spirit. Actually, um, I think. But I think seduction is the best word. I mean, I think she is a saleswoman and a seductress. And um, and and the less I worried about, you know, if if she was moral or if the audience would like her, the more fun I had. Well, you don't have to worry about whether or not she's moral. I mean, as a viewer, I get the impression that the if there is a slight moral compass within this family, it lies within Dennis's character. He seems like he is. I don't know where that's going to go, but it seems like at every step of the way, he knows he has to go this distance. Well, I, but I feels bad about it. I, yeah, I come from the tradition. It's like our great grandfather is the one who brought the water to this valley, and this season, Uncle Ath is about water. That's really what it's about, and. Uh, she, her, she had her, my sister had been basically kicked out of the family mysteriously, but some time ago. With your head, don't back. do that with your head. Like I was that, just doing like, that with time. I was like you know, How far back? And now she's back. Now she's back, because like I, I want her back. She's the only family I have, and uh, she's bringing this whole other line of the business. But at the same time, there's this kind of love. I won't call it hate, but it's somebody. It's like we're gonna kill each other. Mm -hmm. We even play a game with that in in this uh, season. She's also um, completely free and out of bounds. And so uh, when I get into, it's not even like when I work on her. When she sort of comes over me, it's like the she's boundary free, right? So she's you know, loves who she loves. She's a micro doser. So the whole, uh, the mental health and non-mental, it's a, and so literally the reason I come back is because they need somebody to save the business. And when I, there's a psychedelia aspect to this whole thing. And so when I go there, I come back with the ideas, you know, to save. So she's extremely free. And, and I think that she also is a female in a really chauvinistic world, right? And so all the kind of the, the, the kitten-esque, the, I mean, she, she uses what she's got, which I think is actually pretty relatable. She actually comes back to destroy the business. I, so, what are you, know. you talking about? Oh, my God. We'll talk later. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are saying this stuff, though, because, I, like I said, I had no idea what it was about. We're still having the same argument. I can't believe so it. I'm, I'm just learning this. I never read the script. You got... <laughs>